Ni hao! Welcome to BBC Mandarin Masterclass. In this video, I will share with you what is Mandarin and how you are going to learn Mandarin uh, easily, step by step. Welcome to the first lesson. When people talk about Chinese language, what do you think of? Chinese language comprises of Mandarin and other dialects, including Cantonese, Hokkien, Teochew, Hakka, and so on. Mandarin is the official language in China, Taiwan. So when we talk about Chinese, it also means Mandarin. Okay? And when we talk about Mandarin, it also means Chinese. So it's the same meaning, Chinese language or Mandarin language. This is what we learned in the school. And for dialects like Cantonese, Hokkien, Teochew, we will only learn from our family, members, and friends. Okay, it's not taught in the school. So in our class, we will teach Mandarin or Chinese language. Okay. Uh, as you already know, Chinese language is uh, like Korean and Japanese language. We have two systems. On the left is Chinese characters is how we write and it's written in this way. It's like a picture. And on the right is how we pronounce this word. So we have pinyin, it's spelling or a jan okay, in Malay. So in beginner course we only focus on pinyin. Okay. Because Chinese characters is not easy. It's one of the most difficult and uh, characters or word. For example, this is ma, mama, mother, and this is the pronunciation with the consonants, vowels, and tones. And you have to understand that learning a language will take sometimes an effort okay, to acquire. If someone claim that you can speak Mandarin in just few hours or few days then you have to question you have to ask them on how many words you will be learning is it 10 words or only 20 words and any revision class after the course usually learning language it will take a few weeks or few months time for you to be able to speak basic um, level so how do you know your Mandarin proficiency level? If you know around 250 to 500 words, it means that you achieve beginner level and so on and so forth. And in our course, we only teach the keywords and phrases that are commonly used by native speakers. And we will also teach you the local slang in Malaysia, like we like to say, uh, which is not used in China. So we will teach you the local slang as well uh, in Malaysia, China, and Taiwan. Some words we use it differently so that you can speak Mandarin not just in Malaysia but all over the world. And you also learned about Chinese culture so that you know your Chinese friends uh, mindset and preferences because of the culture and you know them on a deeper level okay. so what's the steps to learn Mandarin okay there are four steps the first step is pronunciation in Mandarin there are six vowels four plus one tones and 21 consonants okay, just like English and Malay so this is the summary, okay, six vowels and four plus one tones. The plus one is a neutral tone, which means there's no symbol. Okay, so this is the first, second, third, fourth. And the fifth tone is just a no symbol. Okay. okay, let's do an example. Okay, you can follow my pronunciation. This pronounced as S. S is going down. The tone is going down. S falling tone. 
This is called a photon. Okay. S. And this is second tone. It's going up. So you have to raise or rise the tone. Okay, going up. Shi Shi Okay, this pronounced like shirt without R T. Shi goes up. Okay, uh, never pronounce this as S H I T. It's not she. It's think about shirt. Shi. Okay. Si is four. Shi is ten. Okay. Si. Falling tone goes down. Shi ten goes up. Okay. Totally opposite tones. Now, how do you say fourteen? Okay, in Mandarin. We will say the number 10 first. Just like how we write the number 1, right? Which equals to 10. So 10 comes first. It's unlike Malay and Babalas. Mandarin say 10 4. Okay. 十, 四, 十四, which literally means 10 4. Okay. 十四, the tones up and down. Then how about forty? The other way around. Si, shi, down and up. Si, shi. Then we learn two more words. Okay. Is R M in Mandarin pronounced shi? It's different from the words that we learned just now okay this is shi going down fourth tone shi like wo shi vincent i am vincent bu shi bu shi wo bu shi min i am not min wo bu shi min okay wo bu shi ali okay okay one last time after this we will do a tongue twister in Mandarin, okay? One more time. Si, shi, shi, si, si, shi, shi, bu, shi. Okay, do you remember? Okay, the word and the tones. <laughs> okay. Think about shi is like shirt, okay? So think about ten shirt, okay? I have ten shirts. Shi shirt. Shi shirt. Okay, link these two words together so that you can remember the word ten, the number ten. I have ten shirt. Shi shirt. How about four? Okay, four is pronounced like si. In Mandarin, this is pronounced si. Si means die. Okay, that's why Chinese don't like number four because four sounds like die, si. Okay, so just think that uh, in Chinese culture, they don't like number four because four sounds like si, but it's different tone, okay? Si, si, si. Okay, si, it sounds like die, si. Okay, then this one is just combined, right? 十四, 10, 4, 四十, 4, 10. Okay. Then, how about this? 是, make a simple sentence. I am. 我, 我 means I. 我是, Vincent. 我是, Vincent. I am, Vincent. 我不是, okay. 我不是, 不是 means is not and not. 我不是 Vincent. 我不是, 我不是 Vincent. Okay, after this, now we can do the tongue twister. Okay, okay let's do it together. 四, 是, 四, 十, 是, 十, 四, 不是, 十, 
，十不是四。Okay, do you remember? It's better that if you can say it out without looking at the tones. Like, 四 remember? Just now we learned 四 sounds like die. 四是四，十是十。四不是十，十不是四。Okay, <laughs> okay, you can try it and you can practice of、uh, this tongue twister. Okay. Next, you will、uh, understand that in Mandarin, different tones, it's a different meaning. Okay, for example, buy and sell. In English, it's totally different word, but in Mandarin, as you see, it's the same consonants and vowel. It's just different tones. So my is low tone. It's a V shape, low tone. My, my. Cell is going down, fourth tone. My, my. So the fourth tone you have to pronounce louder. It's more powerful. It's a falling tone, mine. So how do you differentiate these two? Okay, initially you may confuse mine is buy or sell. Mine is sell or buy. So to avoid to avoid confusion, think this way: mine, low tone, right? It's a low energy. Mine, mine. This is mine. You pronounce it louder with. High energy, right? With more effort. My, so which one is easy to to do? Buy or sell? It's easy to buy, right? Just close eyes, swipe the card. Easy to buy, right? My, my, even sleeping can buy. <laughs> even any time, you can just buy, right? Buy something. Okay, my, my. So it sounds like that. Low energy, my. But if you want to sell, it takes more effort, right? You have to put more energy, more effort to sell. So my is more、uh, powerful. The tone is more powerful. So when you buy something, 我买 When you want to sell, 我买 Okay, requires more effort. Okay, and higher energy. Okay, understand? How about this? Okay, 睡觉 and 睡觉 Same concept. All are different, but tones are all of the same, right? Except the tones. Tones are different for these two words. So how do you differentiate? Think about a scenario. Okay, that's relevant to you. Like for me, I have a kid, right? And my kid don't want to sleep. At night, okay, want to want to play. So, <laughs> usually parents, how do you ask your kids to, to sleep? You will say, "Sleep, go and sleep, ah,、uh, sleep, tidur." So in Mandarin, we pronounce that pronounce as fourth tone, 睡觉睡觉 ah,、uh, requires more effort, more energy to ask them to sleep. 去睡觉睡觉 okay, you will shout at them. Go and sleep tomorrow. Got class. Okay, compare to the word dumplings, 睡觉 Okay, 睡觉 low tone. Okay, 睡觉 Okay, dumplings. Do you understand? Okay, so far okay. <laughs> okay, now we learn about vocabularies, which is step two. Mandarin like to mix and match the words. Okay, it's like playing a building block or Lego. For example, 我我 means me, I. Okay, 我啥呀？你 is you, 你 he she it 他 So 我你他 is a singular one person. How do you remember? 我你他 okay. Use your hand body language to helps you to remember. So you can do like this. 我
first party me ni second party ta third party and use malay word wo ni ta wo ni ta to help you to remember okay wo ni ta wo ni ta for plural just add on the word men behind so wo men means we okay wo one person woman plural we how about you all start with the first word ni ni man you all all of you koran okay ni man what about they start with the one person ta third party right ta so ta man they or them mereka and the last word te te is belong to in malay means punya so water water uh, water remote water uh, water okay water charger water water nita uh, nita uh, nita caterpillar <laughs> nita toy nita how about his or her ta de what about our our belong to all of us woman de okay so in mandarin is just mix and match the words but in sequence okay 1 2 3 mix and match all the words okay this way is easier to remember and you will not feel confused okay one more example with the word electric tian tian means electric so most of the electrical appliances has the word tian For example, tian nao. Nao is brain. So what you can think of when someone say tian nao, electric brain. Electric brain means computer. Okay, computer. Makes sense, right? Electric brain, computer. Okay, you can guess it. Okay, electric brain, tian nao, tian nao, computer. Okay, so water, tian nao. What is water? Water, tian nao. My computer. How about tian shi? Shi means pool, like swimming pool. Okay, tian shi. Tian shi, electric pool. Contains or store electric. Tian shi means battery. Tian shi. Battery. 电话，电话，话 means spoken words, speech. 电话 means telephone. 电话，电话 ，phone. 电影，影 is shadow, electric shadow. 电影，电影。What is thinking? Think about cinema. You are watching a projection, right? A colorful projection by the projector. So, 电影 is movie. Okay, 电影 Okay. So Mandarin like to mix and match the words. Okay, and it's quite makes sense, right? It's quite logical. So now. You will know that how to learn Mandarin, right? It's by mix and match. But what if you you feel that, ah yeah, I I think I will forget tomorrow. What if you forget tomorrow or next week, right? Or next month? So how to remember whatever we learned? Okay, I have three tips for you. First one, think about homophonic technique. Homophonic means you find a different word in English or Malay. That sounds the same as the Mandarin word. Okay, later I'll give an example. Okay, find a word that has the same sound in English or Malay. Okay, so that you can link together. Oh, this sounds I heard before in English or Malay. Hmm. Okay, same sound as the Mandarin. Second is using body language. I just now we learned. Wo, ni, 
Uh, use all your five senses okay, to learn and to remember to remember and put in a feeling or emotion okay, make it more dramatic it's just like how actor and actress uh, they can play into a different role right so put some emotion and feeling uh, just like how you remember the scene of a Titanic or your favorite movie because you feel the emotion okay For example, this word "mei yo." Mei yo. It's quite easy to pronounce "mei yo," but how to remember "mei yo"? Okay, first method: find a word in English or Malay that sounds like "mei yo." Mei yo. Okay, I think about mayonnaise. So mayonnaise. Now I imagine mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Uh, mei yo. Sounds like mayonnaise. Okay, mayonnaise. Imagine in your mind or use a hand gesture. Uh, this mayonnaise. Okay, then create a sentence. Okay, so that there's an emotion and there's a feeling. Okay, 我没有mayonnaise. Ah, uh, 我的家, my house. 我没有. I don't have. 我没有. Uh, hand gesture. So 没有, you can do this hand gesture. Okay, for me, I'll do like this. Mayo, mayo, uh, don't have, but the mayo or mayo, mayonnaise, ah, uh, not relevant to you, right? Or mayo, mayonnaise. Now there's a feeling, there's an emotion in this sentence. Okay, or mayo, mayonnaise, or mayo, mayonnaise. I don't have mayonnaise. So now you learn the word mayo. Okay. Okay. Now we learn. Now we learn about sentence structure. Okay. Is the third step sentence structure in English where are you in Mandarin we always start with the subject start with the person so ni just now we learn right wa ni ni zai zai means at a preposition for place ni zai na li na li is where okay it's a question Ni zai na li? You at where? That's how. That's why Malaysians like to speak broken English, especially for Chinese and Malay. Okay, you di kat mana? Ni zai na li? And how to answer? Just copy paste. Wo zai KL. Okay. Ni zai na li? Wo zai KL. One more example. This sentence will be a bit long. This is the formula to construct Mandarin's uh, Mandarin sentence structure. S T P A in this sequence. So always start with the person. Woman. Woman. We. Jin Tian is today. Okay, it's a time. Jin Tian. Can do a hand gesture for the word Jin Tian. Woman Jin Tian. Qu. Qu means go. Go to a place, right? 去哪里? 哪里? Where? 吃饭? Eat. Eat a meal. Okay. Okay. Having, have a meal. 我们? 今天? 去哪里? 吃饭? 我们? 今天? 去哪里? 吃饭? Just copy and paste exactly like the question. Let's change the questions to the answer. Woman Jintian Chi KL Shifan. Okay. It's easy to answer in Mandarin because we copy the questions and just paste it. Okay, copy paste. Last step is to practice. Okay, fluency practice. So in our class we uh, provide one time revision so that you can speak at least 250 Mandarin words okay the minimum requirement what if you can't speak after six months okay, you can join for free revision if they are available seats okay so ABC is the only Mandarin class that offers guarantee results okay, guarantee results means you can speak at least 250 Mandarin words and reach the beginner level. Uh, 
and we provide the tips and the formula for you to learn Mandarin. Okay, there are more tips and um, brain hacks to learn Mandarin. Okay, we will share more in the class. And we offer lifetime access to e-learning portal uh, just like this. And lifetime teacher support, you can contact uh, trainers and we will WhatsApp, we will reply to WhatsApp. And we offer free revision, okay, if you need more time to practice. So that's all about um, how to learn Mandarin in four simple steps, okay. And thank you so much for watching this video. 谢谢你们，再见。